All right. I think we're on. Yeah. Tokyo Twilight Ghost Hunters. This is new. <laughs> All right. Um, there's nothing t more to the left or the right. So yeah. So. Tokyo Twilight Ghost Hunters. Um, this is a new game. I've been interested in playing this game for a while. Actually, to be honest, I've played a little bit of this uh, before we started just to get a feel for it. And man, they don't explain anything in the game. No opening music, no intros, at least not yet. Just city white noise. My name is Jackson, I'm from Canadian Justice. This is a random anime game time. Let's start from the beginning. <laughs> Heaven or hell? Let's duel. Now, one of the things uh, that intrigued me about this game was the art style. The art style is very similar to VanillaWare's uh, type of uh, animation. And for those who don't know about VanillaWare, they did um, Odin Sphere. Uh, Grim Grimoire, um, and I think they did, um, what was that, uh, or, um, Muramasa, I think they did that too. Even real life is full of uncertainty, yeah. Where is there? It was unsurreal. A lot of these games always search for the truth. Can they actually handle the truth? Change the world. All right, that's the name of the chapter. And this this is just a photo. This is a straight up photo. I mean, it's slightly posterized and whatnot, but the like the fisheye lens actually really makes it kind of funky. Anyways, um, the dialogue in this game is very hard to um, follow if you don't pay attention if you skip too quickly. By the way, you. Uh, you don't press X or circle to progress the text. You press the R button. I don't know why the R button. Yeah, you can't remap the controller. Well, you can remap the controllers on the PS4, but I don't know if they had put that on the Vita. I don't think they did. Oh, someone ran into me. Now, that's a tease. I thought this game was fully voiced, but it's not. It's only a few certain lines. Oh, hello. That's the thing you wanted to say. Now, typical visual novels, usually only two choices. Do I want to explain myself or be the silent type? Uh, in my 
first run in, I just chose the first one because hey, visual novels always pick the first choice. Uh, but I don't want to be a creep, so I'll just pick the first answer. Now, is she talking to me or to the girl who just b bumped into me? Now this thing, <laughs> this this weird dialogue thing, is taken straight out of um, uh, that Super NES game. Oh, this name's escaping me. But yeah, each one of these is an emotional type, I guess, or action. So the love. Oh, I did not realize you can actually wait and do nothing. <laughs> I got trophy for it. Okay, doing nothing is also a valid response. So there's a timer on that, I did not realize. But that's interesting. I I think the last time I did this, I, I just look, looked at her and she just like stopped staring. I, I still haven't figured out what each of them actually does because one of them actually actually has a, a tongue icon and I don't exactly want to lick anyone. Businesswoman, eh? Just look at that animation. What's my name? Uh, let's go with the default name since it already has one. Kind of reminds me of Persona. Oh, what's? Oh, there's more characters down here. Okay. Whatever, let's stick with the original name. Mind her last name first. Nickname, do you? Or is the first name last? I don't know. This game's still so confusing. Yusuke is the first name, I'm guessing at this point. So Toma is the family name. Because she always calls the main character Toma. Or is it Yusuke? I don't know. Someone calls each other Toma. Good old localization. This is supposed to look a little more fancy with the uh, horror, like vertical uh, kanji. But for simplicity's sake, they just did left or right. Well, I am playing this on the Vita. So, um, a lot of the text spacing is a little more cramped and uh, awkward for because of the space rendering. Uh, this game is also on the PS3. Uh, oh goody, um, I can respawn. Uh, again, I, like last time I chose to just look at her. But this time I'm going to actually attempt to... Uh, see. I pick a choice and then I have which sense do I want? Do I want to smell, look, hear, lick, I think, or touch? But I figured out that uh, the hand action or the physical touch action on the right plus the hand icon equals handshake. You get a little bit of flavor text for every single type of response. Ah, the sound of cell phone vibrations. Gravity Penguin says evening. Fire fraud says sup.
Uh oh. Now, I have, I have, when I first went through the sequence, I didn't exactly figure out what was going on. And as, I guess, in, as the main character of this game, you're supposed to not know. But after a second time playing through this right now, Chizuru, which is an oddly fitting name for uh, Ghost Hunter, I guess, um, is actually whispering to herself, talking to a ghost. Cardi Penguins is sent by finally knows her. Good night. It's a fancy word for red. Not really a fancy word. Kurenai is usually the uh, poetic term for the autumn maple leaves. Or at least specifically the color of the autumn maple leaves. At least that, that was how it was described to me. Uh, the good awkwardness of being the new transfer student. Just look at that fisheye lens. That chalkboard is so bent. Alright, so where, where's my hometown? Look at all these prefectures. Hokkaido, um, Yamagata, Gunma, Saitama. Nigi Nigata Gifu Shiga Kyoto All the way at the bottom is Okinawa. Uh so I have no preference for any of these. <laughs> Process spoilers, the chalkboard is bent. Alright. Uh which prefecture should I be uh choose as my hometown? Pyrefrost has wants Gunma. <laughs> Initial D. Alright, let's pick Gunma. Uh, in my save file, in my other game, uh, I chose Hokkaido because, again, Visual Novel picked the first choice. Uh, let's see, where's Gunma? There it is. Alright, what's my favorite class? French, English, History, Political Science, Ethics, Latin, uh, Math, Regular Science, Physics, PE, Biology, and Anatomy, Health, Music, Art, and Calculus. So we did not go to a uh, technology school, which is a disappointment. This is probably more of a general education uh, high school. Uh, so what's my major? What's my favorite? Gravity Penguin wants Calculus. Bionic Front wants PE for Physical Execution. Alright, I am going to grab a coin. I'm going to flip. Heads, I'm going to pick. Or, uh, Bionic Front has deleted messages. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna flip a coin. If it lands heads, I will pick calculus. If it's tails, I'll let pick PE. Okay, I landed tails. Alright, PE it is. Oh, the fraud butt also wants PE. Alright, I am from Gunma. My favorite class is PE. Alright, how tall am I? 
<laughs> All right. Um, I can try to enter my actual stats. I actually haven't measured myself lately. Uh, so I'm going to go... 172? Now, I actually weighed myself recently, so I'm actually 90 kilos, or 91 kilos, depending on my, the time of day. So let's go with 91 kilos. I'm pretty heavy. I'm short and heavy. I never actually went to an optometrist, so I don't never I don't know what my eyesight is. Um, I already penguins noticed that he's been getting a lot of time lately. <laughs> All right, uh, what do these numbers mean? Oh, zero one, two o. Oh. I'm guessing two o oh is perfect. One two is average. By far, what's your uh, eyesight rating? I'm just gonna wait here until it's, uh, for the stream chat to catch up. Mm, Byron does not know. You're using 5.25 corrective lenses. Or 5.25 and 5.75. Well, unfortunately, these numbers don't go that high. So let's just go one two one two defaults four point seven five five point two five oh okay all right I have no idea what these numbers are so let's stick with those yeah why did you ask me that <laughs> why do I need to give you my eyesight rating why not she says do I plan on joining any clubs? Uh, let's see, I have the Go Home Club. Barfrost says 1.2 means you're far sighted. Okay. I'm not too sure if that's. Sure. Uh, I guess I'm a little bit far sighted, I guess. Let's see, you got baseball club, tennis club. Volleyball, basketball, soccer, judo, polo, ping pong, kendo, archery, boxing, gymnastics, track, swim, dance, orchestra, band, tea, drama, art, lit, newspaper, and Dungeons and Dragons. Actually, I want to pick Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Alright, um, chat. Barfly obviously wants basketball, that's for sure. Ban is the persona option. Yep, so we can go basketball or ban. Gravity Penguin wants D&D, &D. <laughs> so do I. Barfly says pick the Boncho option. What's. Boncho would be the go home club. Um. Uh, oh man, I can't read your text. Your name there. Fristy fourteen fifty one says no MC. Oh, well, I am the MC, but I. Uh. I have no idea what the D and D actually refers to in this game sense, or in actual Japanese clubs. So we got basketball. Band and D and D. Uh, where's my dice? I'm gonna grab a dice here. All right, so um, so we got six sides. One two is gonna be for one two is will be for basketball. Three four will be for band. Five six will be for D and D, which is ironic or coincidental. Byron has his dungeon dice monsters or dungeon dice. Alright, dice roll! Go, dice roll! Okay, I got oh, six. Alright, so DD it is. The <laughs> Duke Devlin Cub. Alright, we're going DD. What's my birthday and blood type? <laughs> okay. 
Alright, obvious default strategy, first B, yeah. Uh, um, well, let's pick my actual birthday so everyone in stream chat will know my birthday. Uh, blood type O. So people know my actual data there now. I'm a Libra. <laughs> Park Fraud now knows my birthday. <laughs> now I have the employee need. <laughs> what have I done? Alright, so we got this guy in the in the wheelchair. Do I believe in ghosts? I do or I don't. I will say I do. Because visual novels pick the first choice. And it's also the title of the game. If I say I don't, I don't know what. <laughs> would it. It will probably still go through, but it will be very weird. My first is I don't. Twitch stream did not catch up. Twitch chat did not catch up. So, Shiga is the smartest guy in school. Ah, to the uh, lady who I ignored in the morning. Apparently she's the uh, class president. Also, this school is called Kurenai. Coincidence! Yo. Yep, this guy calls me Toma. I don't know, that's a pretty more friendly question than the person who asked me about my uh, horoscope. Or how tall I am. I actually don't know how how those factor into my I don't know maybe they factor into my stats. You do have stats in this game. Masamune Shiga. It means support. This guy used to be good at tennis. Drive A. Eh? All right, these are the movement things. Again, first thing I did, handshake. I could also be kind of creepy and just go like physical action smell. Fire Frost's art style is pretty nice. Yeah, it's vanilla wear nice. Can you show the transfer student around? Pretty standoffish. And now she goes putting words in my mouth. I don't know if Toma actually talks actually other than the few small choices and that action panel do you not want to play host to a weirdo Barry Frost's Mifune reminds him of Kirigiri uh, in a way yeah Kirigiri and Yukiko combined yeah it's a pretty generic female lead character Uh, 
tell him I bumped into a girl or don't say anything. So this is just telling him what happened in the morning. Or I can just be a jerk and not say anything. <laughs> Cardi Ping what's his Hey look, we just because we play Dungeon Dice Monsters doesn't mean we have to be doesn't mean we're a weirdo. I don't know. You Someone has to be in a dog suit though. Alright. So we're explaining the situation. <laughs> oh, she got playing the matchmaker. Barnabas says, Whoa, I just called Kitty Giri generic. But she is! Generic in the f anime female lead sense. Alright, so she got, has a part time job. Ooh, just the two of us. Happy now? Okay, I don't know what the other actions do. Like, even looking at the instruction uh, PDF thing that comes included with the game, I have no idea what these things are because they don't even explain anything. Like, this is not even described in it. Um, so I could pick... I never actually picked punch before, so what is punch? Uh, punch hand? Why am I clenching my fist? Wouldn't you rather show her? <laughs> it's like, okay, just imagine that scenario. I just like, grrr, like, I'm showing you my fist. <laughs> okay, so. I don't think I ever actually offered to shake her hand. Hey, there's a ding. A, a chime just happened. Does that mean I actually did something? Knight, correct? But she's willing to be nice now. So I guess that's a good sign. Uh oh, she just felt cold suddenly. Either it's the cold or it's Shark Week. Or a ghost. Ghost Shark? Ooh, Blood Vision. Ah! Mifune saw whatever it is that we saw. Alright, end of the day. Let's go to the arcade. Oh, it's not us. But it seems like uh, the entire class has warmed up to our main character here. Oh, how do I respond? Um, this is the touchy-feely option. I did this once before. Um, I don't know what this crying thing is. Uh, ear, eye, mouth, nose. Let's go with the safe option and touch. Okay, so I guess that means um, being sorry and pet touchy. 
Okay. So she now thinks I'm really weird. Is it unfair for her to give me a tour or felt having anything in return? Uh Gravity Penguin says this is a refreshingly weird user interface. Yes, and as I said before, it's not ever explained in the manual. The manual skips over that interface entirely. <laughs> Actually, I can just prove it to you. I'm just gonna open it up right now. So open up the manual. Yeah, I'm playing on the video. So let's go through this. So title. Controls, interval, and battle. So we got the basic control set up. And it goes straight into the battle interval. It doesn't even explain what the interface means. So you, it goes into the actual gameplay, which I've actually done a bit. And that's it. That's all there is to the manual. Nothing to explain what that user interface is. Okay, she'll tell me later. Yeah. Too honest. Not asking how I can help? Should I not trust you? Alright, let's go. All right, so where should we go? The first floor or the third floor? I'll save the fourth for later, so I'll choose between those two. So, first floor or third floor? Chat, what which one should I go to? In my first run through, I went to the first floor. Alright, I'm just gonna grab my coin again. <laughs> Alright. Heads, I'll go first. Tails, I'll go third. Until someone in stream chat catches up. Whoop. Tails! Alright, let's go to the third floor. Of course, it makes sense to start there. We are on the third floor right now. I did not know that. <laughs> I thought we were on the first floor. Because generally, like, um, when in most of these games, when you play as a high school student or being introduced as a high school student, you start off in year one. And year one is usually on the first floor. But, and then it goes, uh, and for each floor that goes up, it's another year. So, Year two would be on the second floor. Year three will be on the third floor. So I'm guessing we're seniors at this school. If we go by generic anime school logic. Third floor has classrooms as well as science, home ec, and arts. Pretty small school. Senior class has, uh, or they never actually specified what year they're in. So there are 30 students in each class, and four classes, so 120 students, and it's 50/50. This is about average small, I guess. Hallway runs east to west, east is the science, and home ec, west is the art class. Typical ghost rumors are all over the science room. Apparently she has some sort of gripe against ghosts. So, do 
Yes or no? Do I believe in ghosts or do I don't? I think one of these answers actually increases the uh, the uh, friendship or S link or whatever the meter point is for these people. Um, so if you say I don't, I believe that would be the the plus answer. This would be the negative. So let's go with this. Here, Meringham. She doesn't believe in ghosts. Don't bring it up, even if you're joking. All right, the second floor. We got the physics room and the creepy biology room. Mounted animals and specimens. This school has a gift from foreign research facility. Sure, why not? Let's go. Uh, smelly, dusty room. Is it safe to be in here? Nineteen forty four. A year before the war ended. Why is such an old jar is stored here? Hmm. As a mysterious item. Does it smell weird to you? Uh so Center is curiosity. That's for that. So asking about smell, so let's smell. There's a faint scent of sulfur. That is a shriek. Oh, sad elderly teacher. Oh, everyone's here. Jeez, seems kind of disappointed. of a magazine. Doesn't actually say what magazine. Young people and their potential. This school cages you like herds of sad sheep.
Yes, I do want to read it. Let's hurry to the fourth floor. Apparently, those two don't like each other. Or at least she doesn't like the businesswoman. Yep, so first floor is for first years. Staff room, infirmary, and the janitor's closet. The hot nurse is a legend, don't get your hopes up. Oh, it's the girl that bumped into me. Her name is Saya. Oh wait, she's also a third year. Alright. Handshake! Yay! Shake hands! Be friends and make up. You know, I was just watching Metal Gear recently, Metal Gear Solid 3, and I remember that weird video about the guy who just wants a handshake. <laughs> shake hands! Shake hands! Yay, she conceded. Oh, violin lessons, how nice. I do not know. Why did we come here last? She didn't want anyone to see us up here. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Caution tape. Eight thirty in the morning before homeroom had started. Uh oh. Oh no! Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Suicide, huh? Mm -hmm. 
So she wants to know the truth of the matter. They think that asking questions, they'll end up involved. Well, that's true, because when you ask, you do get involved. Less likely to freak out. So the new transfer student has no history and is thereby abusable. Why Francis looks like she didn't stand a ghost of a chance. I would have to say boo to that. Nothing is here. No grade rooms, none set aside for specific classes. No club rooms, no supply closet, not even used for storage. Three rooms with desks and chairs. The fourth floor, no one knows why it exists. Alright, we start looking at the close, closest room and move down the hallway. Trace of white powder. Alright, so what do we do? Smell it. Powder doesn't really have a smell. Is this salt? Okay. I don't think you can smell salt. Woo! Girl in a sundress. She's all sad. And she faded? Uh oh. A g g g ghost. You saw her, right? I saw. Not always. Who's that cool voice? Yeah, there's a little bug in this game where you actually get a small glimpse of of what the next scene is before the uh, actual uh, cutscene plays. So when I saw first saw this happen, I was like, ah, disappointed. Hmm. They must have really good elevators to, or an elevator somewhere. I'm either really nice or really slow, or you are meant to be here. The third option sounds nice. So which is it, new guy? I am nice, I am stupid, or is it fate? <laughs> uh, stream chat. <laughs> Again, uh... Frosty says, or Fristy says, a half second of spoilers. <laughs> Alright, so vision novel choice is the first one, which is I am nice. 
Alright, we'll all be a little more creative with this one. Stream chat, which one should I pick? The stupid choice? Or the destined choice? Or stick with the default nice choice? I'm gonna grab my dice just in case. And wait for the chat to catch up. Also, there's no other, like... Wait, can I press... No, you can't press the log button. The select button is the uh, log button. Uh, I don't believe there's any other buttons you can press at this moment. No. So you can't even, like, check back to the question if you want, if you forgot what it was. Alright, there's no response in the chat, so I'm gonna dice roll this. Go, dice roll! Okay, it's one. I am nice. He, really, he must be a really nice guy. Oh, first he also chose one. Oh, just a little too, too long. Woo, sudden chill. You can see your breath. A laptop should not make that kind of noise. Oh, there's this woman is here. Temperature decrease, the smell, it's near. It's supposed to be eight hours from now. Why is it showing so early? Ten degrees below average. We're attacking now. We're attacking now. What do I do? Fist. Clench that fist. She's pleased. Chrissy says, "Oh, sorry. <laughs> the stream has a long delay." <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to factor that in with my decision choices next time. That's my that's my fault. The girl who was standing over there. They also don't believe it. Yes, we saw her. Uh oh. She she's starting to refuse. She's freaking out. Typical. Limbs become heavy, difficulty breathing, hallucination, psychosis. Symptoms vary, but all of them f all fall victim to at least one. Very few people are resistant to the effects. A gasp had just registered a passage. Reaction. You'll be here in three minutes. Wow, they must have very accurate readings. It's a weird little tablet device. 
It's called a Ouija pad. A Ouija pad. I'm guessing Ouija is actually a trademarked name. A man in a burning coat. First appeared two months ago, but it's been three weeks since it was last spotted. Take this pipe. Specially modified so it can be used against ghosts? Can't be hurt by ordinary weapon, but with this you can damage them. So respect the pipe? So we get to be Hagar. Uh oh. That's a very loud heartbeat. Cut you? Whoa, that's a familiar face. Helsing? Ah, oh, Chizuru is like totally aggressive. <laughs> wow, stream chat. Gravity Penguin and Bonnie Fraud both said Carmen San Diego at the same time. <laughs> Alright, so the main target is the man in the burning coat. By the way, this is the main interface of this whole gameplay sequence. This device not only detects our lives, but also detects the presence of ghosts. So this is the ghost detector. Alright, so... This little red icon is me, the main character. This is... well, this was the, um, the chief, the Chiziru, the, uh, the businesswoman. She just... This is the action she took. She walked in and did a turn. I uh, um, so I have four actions I can do on the top left corner there. So I can do select myself. This is tutorializing me. So I have to move down here and use the L button to make myself rotate, and then choose standby. Confirm the action. So this is only setting up the plan, and then now it's actually executing. It's very uh, Rainbow Six ish. So f follow the prediction point. So these glowy blues these are the actual ghosts these little circular ghosty flame bits the blue icon blues radiating bits are where the ghosts can move to and the uh, things on the right are the actual stats for the ghosts so it's asking me to go here hit select and attack the space in front of me. Oh, so 
So we go into wreck mode. Get wrecked, flying midnight butterfly. Thwack. So each turn takes one minute of time. AP is used while moving and attacking. Move too far, you won't be able to attack. Final Frost says this is Battleship Fatal Frame. Exactly. The challenging bit of this is that both you and the ghost move at the same time when you execute. So if you... And the ghosts always move. They never really stand still unless you sneak up on them. I don't know, you can sneak up on a ghost, can you think of that? But anyways, that if the ghosts spot you, they will move either away or towards you in any of these blue zones. Front AP system, ew, front mission. It's all Yomi. So, yep, so I am now ha have free reign of my movement. Or at least somewhat free reign. You want me to move here. Except and attack this space in front of me. So predicted that ghost. Swack. Beat down that butterfly. Get the ghost in the, in the red. Get the ghost in the red grid showing your attack range to do critical damage. The scream lamp. That is your indication of what the ghost is planning to do. So I had to read this up a little bit earlier. Flashing red means it's going to be aggressive. Flashing blue means that it's being defensive and run to run away. But all this says is that if it's uh, li lighting up, it wants to strike or not, it's going to attack now. But it doesn't explain what the blue light means. But I probably, probably I'm guessing a little getting, getting a little ahead of myself. So now it's my turn. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, and I get to uh, pick the ghost movements. So right now this ghost wants to come and attack me. The ghost generally wants to move in a straight line. They don't really make a lot of turns. It can only move five, five spaces, so it can move up, turn, straight, turn, attack. Or go up, up, turn, attack. So I can s choose to stay still and attack in front. Or turn and flip and attack here. Uh, oh, I can also do this a space attack. Actually, this would be a more better idea. Turn. Skill. Use attack too. Wait. Oh. Yeah, the interface here is actually kind of funky. Skills, attack two. Oh no, that actually doesn't do very well because that would miss the space to the right. All right, so let's actually go back this way. All right, let's attack here, cover this space. Ooh, that is an interesting spot. Yeah. 
ダメージを確認黒板からスプラッシュ音を検知した姿を現しなさい Now, it's quite actually quite、uh, dangerous to just stand still and keep attacking in the same spot. This is from my past experience with this game, anyway. Because the ghost always moves around.、Um, but I'm gonna chance it. I'm gonna attack the same space here. Because. Because the ghost can only move one back here. Over these two spots, or everything up here, or actually land on top of the character. But I am going to take the chance and cover this spot in front. I'm going to have the main character move over here, turn, and attack, and cover that attacking space. Oh, that's so good. So that means, quack! I broke the desk! I whack the desk with my pipe. Thwack. And that's what happens when you, when you stand still. The ghost will attack the spot you were last previously at. Oh, okay, this is where they actually turn blue. I never actually had that happen to me in the tutorial. It's trying to run away. So that means they'll try to go down. Down or to the, to the left. So best is to go this way. And attack. Actually, no, wait. Re entered my choice. Attack 2, cover the entire space there. So it includes this back spot. And. And just in case it runs forward instead of backwards, have the main character attack this front zone. Ooh! It went backwards. So that means Chizuru is gonna get the final blow. Ooh, killing blow. Mission clear. So, yeah, that is the、uh, main gist of what this game is. It's A、uh, weird little puzzle game with visual story, visual novel elements. This ghost dude thingy wants to cut up more women. You mo guai guai fai di zao. Now that we're done here, why don't we all go to eat? Eh, those ghost types are pushovers. The commission fee. Gatekeepers. Go Ghostbusters? <laughs> It wouldn't be good to seem with you by the other teachers. What?
Would you be interested in working with for gatekeepers like Shiga here? Ooh, a job offer. I don't know if you say I don't think so, but probably end the game here. So um, let's just continue. <laughs> And surprisingly enough, they still have not given you the ability to save your game. Like, you can press all the buttons you want. Like, press start to exit back to title. Like, there's no other button to open up an option menu to let you save the game. Who am I? You damn well know better then. I don't know, this translation is, is kind of a bit awkward, but yeah, I guess it kind of works. Each encounter causes ripples, and all of them combine to make a future. So I'm sure one day this encounter will have some sort of impact on your life. Too late! Those piercing eyes. And we have the title sequence! Access games localize this. Yeah. And there you go, there's the actual first chance of actually saving this game. And we got a trophy. Alright, um right, let's save. Alright, so that's actually where my last, where my uh, trial saved at. So I'm gonna save in the second slot there. So, Change the World is chapter 1. So, spoilers, chapter 2 is cold as ice. Hey ghost, neener neener neener. She can see ghosts, guys. She's a ghost too. I'm not a ghost. Ghost, ghost. I'm not a ghost. So we now know, just getting to know why Mifune is kind of all um, up in those ghost story stuff. Ooh, a ghost story. What kind? She's freaking out.
You're in junior high, you scared or something? That's a weird phrase to say. Did you catch the movie playing last night at midnight? Does you have to specifically mention midnight? Huh? Which one? The midnight one. Oh, this is the moment where the uh, the jumper happened. Wow. Head first. that heartbeat again why is it happening now cold as ice chapter two there's at least actually not numbered chapters and there's that bent chalkboard again. Yo, Doma. Yo. Hey, Shiga. Did I get sleep? I think so. Not really. The, I don't think this decision makes any ma makes any choice. Makes him happy though. Oh, he's all worried. Been here two, just two days and you're already buddy-buddy with this guy. Classmates, huh? That's it. Oh, she, now she's all curious. So it's a secret between you two and that woman. Um, mention the ghost or don't say anything. She did specifically say, "Do never ever mention ghosts in front of her." So I'll say nothing. Oh, now she's really curious. Sometimes it's better not to know. If you're afraid, it's best that you don't get involved with us. Uh-oh. We're hired assassins. Once you know, you can't go back. Yep. Ain't that the truth. First period's math. Uh, I suppose if he is the smartest student in the school. Where is she going? I mean, class just started and I thought we we're all classmates.
Eh, whatever. Ooh, an invitation. She has to go back just one more time. She just can't leave it alone. Ah, sure, why not? Let's go. She did see it. A girl who wouldn't fit in at the school. I don't know, I think she does. She pointed towards this room. Defeat the ghost with the red coat. Now if that was a sweary game. She disappeared and I guess you guys must have defeated him. There are three rooms on this floor. There also used to be a ladder that took you to the roof. After the incident, it was removed. And... Splat? So we did her a favor. Go back down. No other choice. Hmm? Uh, uh, uh. I thought we just did. Dum dum dum. Cool voice. All right, to the office. Listen up. Um. Touchy hearing? I don't know how you can touch hearing. I hear students chatting. <laughs> Something to tell you anything serious. The client and their request is kept confidential when you resolve everything swiftly. Take too long, don't know what will happen. So be careful. Company car. Is in the parking lot next door, used to deliver products. So the Ecto one is in there. It felt like someone was watching. Ghosts are everywhere, you can always you can bet they're always observing us. Ghosts themselves have different varieties with lost souls, suicide victims, poltergeists, etc. Ghosts can take a few different paths, for example. Oh. <laughs> this guy looks familiar. Tired man. Kind of have that spikish look to him. Mr. Sadoi. Or Sadoi.
A new transfer student already getting a job. Where are the newbie? Hosui Sadoi. He is the driver. Alright, shake hands. Shake, shake. Oh. It's going to gambling. Only one who knows anything about the chief's past. Sounds like a major hint. Boichi? Oh, whoa. So you use the machine to scan your mind? Is he Professor X? I'm a high school student, yes. Next question. Come to purchase a magazine, correct? No. Cardi Penguin says he's gonna scan your mind with a plunger? <laughs> Why are you lying? Dignified voice. Ah, the chief. So we have our Egon. That sounded kind of rough. <laughs> He's wearing the power glove. Moichi Sengen. Carl Sagan? So this guy actually comes from a technically uh, school. Also a third year in Ch uh, Chiodai? Oh, Chioda. So he is in the occult club. All right, shake hands. Also an otaku, I see. LG Ryusuke? What does LG stand for? Oh, meow. So adorable. His name is C. Clor. C. Clar. Been hanging around the office ever since Gatekeepers was established. That look. That must be pretty recent then, because I don't know how old this cat is. Who is Yutaro? The mythical raven in our emblem. Oh, so. Familiar female voice.
Ah! Mifune's here. She followed us. Shiga has a pretty good sense for people watching. If you asked, you wouldn't have let me? Of course not. It's none of your business. Yeah, you were there. And then you ran away all freaked out and whatnot. Stalker! <laughs> Ooh, another job offer. Let's start off by proofreading this page. I'm going to go out on a limb here. But, at least for um, the Canadian education system, we learned about proofreading at the very least the first year of high school, which is grade 7, which is the equivalent of junior high first year. So yeah, describing what proofreading is to a senior high school student. Verify the text fits and the layouts are fine. Mifune didn't come all the way here to do this kind of... Was she expecting to be a ghost hunter too? A publisher specializing in the occult. The main business is publishing, we're not just exorcists. Do I make myself clear? Action! Eyes? There are suspicious items all over the- So that means I just looked around. So, is it assumed that I was like all worried? Like, oh, why is there so much stuff? Like, there's no context for what those actions are. I'm just guessing <laughs> for most of the part. Well, I guess that's half the fun, just to figure out what that whole menu thing is. Alright, send the boys out for a shopping trip. Used a bunch of salt, so we're low on stock. This is still tutorial tutorializing the rest of the game here. Alright, so... We're going to the convenience store to see that dude. In Shinjuku. Very long? Sweaty young man. Where is that wind machine coming from? New blood.
Manaji Nishida. He's the manager. Shake hands! We got a good, strong grip. Saying manager mana makes your tongue curl weird. I don't know. Monitor mana. I guess it kind of does sound kind of numbing after a while. So we are in a store called Or Not For B. So For B or Not For B. Alright, so this is a convenience store that sells antiques and variety of odd things. I always sell you a sketch of the location during a briefing speech of strategize. Oh. Grid maps. We can lay traps, huh? Ghosts don't like salt, huh? Keeps them from passing over. So ghosts are snails. That's a pretty strong phone. Got a new request posted on the Exorcism website. Ghost of a woman in a white kimono. Alright, we're heading to Nakaido. Or not, Nakano. Sorry. You're late. Ah, Mifune's here. I don't know. She just started working today. Uh, what do I do? Her black hair looks like it's flowing. Cause it is! Caught me staring. CN Mifune? What are those acronyms? Still have no idea what LG Ryusuke is. Not really. Gravity Penguin says we need to upgrade from LG to OG. <laughs> I 
So the request comes from a 24 year old government employee in Nakano, single, lives alone. The first ghost sighting was three days ago around two in the morning. An hour later, he woke up cold and smelled something odd. A woman in a kimono was there. He stared at him in silence before dissolving like a fog. Ever since then, she put an appearance every day at same time, same location. I wonder if that's the only sign, like the temperature decrease and odd smell. Ghost is always preceded by a temperature drop in sulfur smell. Tend to emit a positively char positive charge. I wonder if this is actually real. Of course not. Generally speaking, ghosts are still in the realm of unexplained mysteries. Humans and animals have some traits and behaviors that are universal. It's believed ghosts do too. Word from the wise, eh? We'll learn a lot more than they bargained for soon. So Shiga's gonna check the apartment area while the rest of us are gonna talk to the client. Yurosaku uh, Manabe. G detector. If one comes close or the traces nearby, this needle shifts to the positive. Ooh, off the scale. Ooh, wow, that's that's noticeable. Slimer's been here. It's ghost residue. Gravity Penguin says it's that or it's Gak. Just game if any you guys check this out too. Alright. Um Curious. Um Let's try licking it.
Whoa. What's this? Now, I've played through this chapter before, just to be honest. I didn't realize you could do this. <laughs> this is new. Woman's voice, if you ever need anything, please come to me, no matter what it is. Good morning. I made this. Would you like some? Welcome. Do your best. Dang. Uh oh. We had a vision. Now I've actually know know what happens to this uh, little chapter plot, so. I thought that's actually kind of interesting to see after on this, on my technically new game plus or or a second playthrough of this chapter. So we're back on track. But wow. So our main character saw glimpses of women's voices cheering up this dude or encouraging him. Does that mean the main character's special ability is to detect ghosts by licking them? Ask why he can't or don't say anything. I don't think it really matters in this choice. Just, just force the plot. The ghost says it can't be. Cool voice. She goes here. If you give a name, then you have to admit yourself that it's true. You have to accept someone you cared for and mourned and wasn't able to rest in peace. Several incidents have occurred in the past few days with women attacked by something unusual. Police seem to be treating it as a random attacker and persecuting as such. But all the victims have testified that at the time they felt a, felt cold and smelled something strange. Exactly. A ghost has appeared and is attacking the people in the vicinity of the apartment. You want the person you know to stop hurting people. Who is the ghost? The ghost is his fiance. He's positive. Two weeks ago, she fell down this area. She must have landed wrong because. Wow, that's a weird cutoff sentence. Must have landed wrong because we held a funeral for her. That kind of went backwards. And that night, we had cremated her and she appeared in front of me. Ooh, sepia. Yuko, you're supposed to be dead! Oh, hello! Usually this would be kind of a happy reunion. Wow, she's possessive.
Every night she's come to visit. And she also began to attack the women around me. Which is the visions of the people cheering him up. The apartment manager, a neighbor, are attacking out the girl at the market. Visions. Marcos is yonder a ghost. <laughs> Unlike the living, ghosts are incapable of reasons or morals. Gravity Penguin says Ghost ISA. Their actions are driven by feelings from when they are alive and their last thoughts before death. They don't think about anything other than what they need to do. That's what ghosts are. That's pretty simplified. Is there no ways to convince her to stop? Like maybe talking with her? Ghost motives are simple. If she decides to attack women around her fiance, she will to do so. The only way to get her to stop is to defeat her. Bear is in this room at 2 a.m. So nice we have a scheduled ghost appearance. And Mifune has joined the team. Sagan has joined the team. And this is the actual menu interface for the game. Or the main hub. So this poster section here is actually where we save the game. Uh, this is where we go out to get stuff. Briefing case is where we actually start the mission. Photo album is our uh, cutscene viewer. Whiteboard is the uh, training your main character in skills. Uh, if you uh, idle too much, it just makes the menu disappear. The locker is our uh, equipment room. And the PC is where we uh, accept missions. And the board game is actually a neat little weird um, mini a game within the game using the same level of complexity. Actually, it actually plays like a legitimate board game, actually, uh, but we'll get to that later. Uh, but for now, let's go to the locker and get ourselves geared up. We actually don't have much gear on us. No wait, because I need to go to the shopping dis- go to the convenience store to buy some gear. Alright, let's- now this is some weird equipment, so you can actually read the descriptions of these things. An ordinary notebook, put it under your clothes to lessen the pain of a punch. So yeah, let's buy one of those. Oh yeah, by the way, if we buy uh, 10,000 yen worth of stuff, we'll get some freebies. So if we buy $100 worth of items. But for now, we're just going to grab that. Let's get some food items here. Uh, these are the antiques. I don't. I never actually use these. These are like uh, healing traps, I guess. These are accessories, so we need to buy one of those and one of those. Just gonna buy three of these because we need to gear up the rest of the team as well. And also, partially, I want to get to that uh, ten thousand yen goal of to get those freebies. Uh, gloves, get three of those. Some food stuffs. Another iron pipe. We already have an iron pipe. Oh, yeah. Our dude is just standing right there. In between those two aisles. Not behind the counter. Alright, so we need to buy another uh, $17 worth of stuff. Alright. Buy some cup noodles. 
needles would be good. These are actual carry items, I guess. I'm not gonna buy these two. These two are too expensive. Uh, don't need an iron pipe. Let's uh, buy some lemon juice. Uh, a little more, but that's enough. Purchase product. You bought a lot, so you get to draw! That is neat. You just actually get to pick one of these things. Alright, um, let's go with that one. Third place! We got some seaweed. So we got, like, second to worst prize. Anyways, let's go back to, uh, to gatekeepers. And let's gear up. So, put on that, put on that, that, and that. Let's see. Uh, oh, is, whoops. Uh, button presses. Alright. That's everyone. You can also equip these uh, consumable items like uh, salt and other things so you can actually walk around and set up traps. But you don't need to do that. You can actually set up traps beforehand. But they actually. But uh, if you have the character set up traps on the field, you save money. Well, it's an optional way of, of saving money. But I found that it's generally not very useful just yet. You guys have throwable items and other gears. 